Woof! Man, it has been a rough week. Um, <laughs> it's Chris. I'm here in my office today. I am. I just finished up a writing session, working on my new ketogenic book, and um, just chilling. I just sent out a request for questions on Instagram, so hopefully some people ask me some questions. Maybe I'll answer them through this video today. Anyways, um, I'm going to take you a little bit through the second part of my day now because I feel like in my other um, day in the life videos, I put a lot of emphasis on the morning, but then by the time the night comes around, I'm like, oh, tired. Well, I'm not really tired, but um, I don't think you guys get enough of the workout in. I don't think you guys get enough of the good stuff that you're here to see. You want to see me lift weights and I want to lift weights for you. But uh, I don't know. Maybe you don't want to see me lift weights. It's okay. I'm going to lift weights anyways. Anyways, out here in Redlands, California, and we just had a really serious uh, incident occur. And it um, uh, turns out that the two terrorists who committed that crime were living down the street from me here in Redlands. And um, it was a scary couple of days. And my girlfriend works about less than a mile from where the attacks occurred so she was actually treating some of the victims she's a nurse at the hospital and um you know i think a lot of people out here are going through the healing process i mean especially the the families of the victims um you know for me personally hit home man um you know i'd served in the marine corps i had been abroad i um, was part of the war on terror and uh just to know that, that something like that could happen in my community. When I moved out here to get more quiet and to get um, away from the city a little bit. Um, um, gonna take you through this day here. Um, probably take you along on a little walk. Probably take you out for some workouts. Um, possibly answer some questions here. We'll see what happens, all right? So one of the things I try to do daily is get out here and walk. Um, I live out here in California and it's fucking beautiful out here. Uh, it's December and it's like 75 and I'm gonna try to rub that in but for a while I was stuck inside all the time just sitting behind my computer all day long and I was like dude let me start living it up partly because my skin gets pasty ass white every time I'm inside for longer than a day or two so um, but yeah dude it whether in a cold weather or not I mean Going outside in the cold can actually be really good for you. Yeah. Activates brown adipose tissue, helps to burn with fat, but uh, and that might sound like super bro science, but seriously, exposure to the cold can actually be really good for you and can have some serious anti-inflammatory effects. I'm gonna get this walk done. I got Piper over here. We're just uh, trying to get some exercise in. And uh, after this, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a roasted chicken. So stay tuned. Hey, what's going on guys? I'm back and I'm gonna roast a chicken for tonight's dinner. I'm gonna show you how to make a tasty roasted chicken. Um, I like buying whole chickens from time to time because there's a lot more here and then you can eat the leftovers tomorrow or later in the week if you want. You can cook a bunch of chickens. Um, up front if you want to I find it's a lot tastier than just doing chicken breast and I like the dark meat a lot better than chicken breasts or anything like that because it's got a higher fat content um, gonna show you a real quick and easy recipe and so bear with me on this I don't have a camera all right so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of olive oil and I'm just gonna rub it on Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some garlic salt and I'm just going to sprinkle it all over this bad boy. Next up, I've got some onions in here and I'm just going to open this guy up. I'm going to violate him a little bit by sticking some onions into his rear end. So the next thing I'm going to stick up into this chicken are some garlic cloves in here. them so stick those right in there 
with the onions and the garlic. Okay, and then on top of stuffing him with some lemon wedges, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some lemon halves in and around the chicken that I'm gonna use to baste the chicken later on so it doesn't become dry. So I'm just gonna stick this in here and this way you get to baste the chicken with a roasted lemon juice and it becomes fucking amazing. So we got some olive oil on there but I want a little bit more fat and I want a little more flavor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm also going to stick some butter on top of and around the chicken, um, even on the inside of the chicken a little bit. So all around here, just get a couple of pieces of butter on there and uh, that's gonna melt on there and it's gonna taste really finely because I'm gonna add a few more spices. But I've got some rosemary here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stuff some rosemary into the chicken as well with everything else. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break up some of this rosemary, put it around the chicken. Just kind of try to spread it evenly and make sure some gets to the bottom of the pan too because you want that oil nice and flavored down there too. That's gonna come up. I got a lot on here, but I like my spices a lot. What I'm gonna do now is I am going to add a little bit more garlic salt. Got some nice white pepper here. And then see what it looks like. Now, what I wanna do is I'm gonna stick a sheet of tin foil on here. I wanna get this thing nice and covered. Lock in all that flavor for a little bit. And I've got my oven heated up to 425 degrees. What you want to do is stick it on the middle rack. Um, that way it's going to get the best heat. Once it's in there, I'm going to reduce the heat in my oven to 400 degrees. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my timer. Timer is going to go on for about an hour. I'm going to go do some work. And then I'm going to come back and now when the timer comes off, I'm going to remove that tin foil, see what it looks like, and then put it back in for probably another half hour. So nice and easy prep, easy meal. Um, and have you had blood work done recently? No, actually I have not. I, I haven't had to get to the doctor. Okay. I probably won't get a chance to go until maybe February. Okay. All right. Well, what I'll do is I'll send you back this questionnaire and we're going to get right back into it. Um, I'll get you the full program. I'll get you the, the, the full nutrition plan and the training plan together. And I'd like to get this back to you by tomorrow or Wednesday. Um, so I'll send you the questionnaire right now. And then as soon as uh, you get done with it, please send it back to me. All right. So I got my chicken over here. It's been in for about an hour. Basically what I'm doing right now is I'm just taking some of this buttery goodness and just spooning it all over the chicken. It's getting it everywhere, getting these legs. It's giving them kind of a bath here. So now I've just stuck the chicken back in the oven. And what I'm gonna do is I am gonna set the oven for 
350 degrees now and I'm going to stick them in there for about 45 more minutes. And we'll see how he does. Sometimes with these things, you think uh, you're doing everything like you should and then they come out undercooked. Um, if you have a thermometer, you want to measure it. I'm not sure what the exact measurement should be right now. I'll find that out. But you can always Google it. All right. So we'll see what this thing looks like in about four. And I'm going to remove the tin foil. Big thing. All right. So it's 45 minutes later. And look at this beautiful thing. But we can't eat it yet because we're going to go train. All right. Over at the gym now, we're going to do a little bit of shoulders today. Not too crowded in here. So be able to get a little workout in here. that's the end result there some chicken with lemon and zucchini nice tender delicious you take the lemon squeeze it over the chicken the zucchini is just some fried zucchini with some spices on it all right i'll see you guys another time mm.